Okay, let's do this thing. Monday Night Raw. Chicago, Chicago. Honestly, I didn't even know this was in Chicago tonight. Would I have gone to the show? Not really. But I honestly didn't know it was going to be in Chicago. So um, I was surprised myself. We kick it off with Stone Cold Steve Austin's music plan, which of course drew a mega pop from the crowd. Which uh, we were actually all trolled right here, which I kind of figured that was going to happen. Because it's like, hey, it's Austin's music. Everyone's going to go nuts for it every time Stone Cold's music hits. And who was it? It was Stone. It was um, Kevin Owens coming out there dressed as Stone Cold. He had like a bald cap on his head. You know, the Austin 316 t-shirt and some shorts and all this stuff. And then, you know, he talked about, you know, trying to imitate Austin. Thinking he was going to get what chance. But they kept booing him and booing him. How much y'all came here to see me? Whoop another whoop whoop you know whoop a fat cat whoop ass on somebody. He and he thought he was gonna get the what chance, uh, which you know he gave what's, but then the fans started chanting, "You suck, you suck." You know I'm here tonight to talk about Texas, cause everything Kevin Owens says about Texas was true. And you know what? I didn't do much thing, but I'm going to appear on the Cap Kevin Owens show. That be the mouse side of bitch. Ah, <coughs> excuse me. Ah, I I cannot do the greatest Stone Cold Steve Austin impression, but you see where I'm going here. And, you know, I do a lot of drinking these bad days. No nitro in my own. Nah. Yo, uh, we, we go to see here if he, uh, I can face up to that Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. Fans started chanting when we went Austin did. Yo, Owens did say, you guys are the stupidest son of a bitches I've ever seen. And the next, you know, Austin's music plays again. And the crowd even goes even more nuts. Gets a bigger mega pop out there for Stone Cold. But, once again, no pop, no Stone Cold. Owens act like he was gonna, you know, try to act like he was gonna fight to fight him, but, you know, um, he just laughed, he says, oh, you know, it's fool me once, you know, shame on you, fool me twice, well, shame on y'all, cause you guys are a bunch of idiots, okay, and that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so, so, and then next thing you know, yo, I need somebody to come throw me some beer right now, which, um, someone tried to throw him some beer, but, they kept dropping it, so Austin told him to, you know, um, get, get in the ring then, and he didn't throw it properly, you know, he was supposed to be some guy from Chicago, he said, and he told him to come bring him the beer, and then he stunned the man and then poured the beer all over him. This was probably the best thing out of the entire show. This was a great troll job. They, if you just look at the the faces of everybody in that crowd, and how excited, they was just excited to see Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, and then, you know, they don't get Stone Cold Steve Austin. I, honestly, if I was there, I would have felt the same, same way. Then again, they kind of got me from watching at home, too. Because the minute, like, you hear Austin's music, kick, you, you gotta go nuts, okay? Even I've been fooled by that before. Like, you hear certain music, like, oh, shit. And then, you know, you don't get it then. So, uh, this this was fun. This was a great way to kick off the show. I That was fun watching. Great troll job. Um... Next, Seth Rollins was in the back figuring out what he was going to do for WrestleMania. There were Cody chants uh, from the crowd, which this is not going to be the last time you see Seth Rollins or hear Cody chants throughout the entire night. Uh, so we'll get back to that. Uh, Ray and Dominic came out to uh, face Bobby Roode and the NXT champion Dolph Ziggler. Miz was out there willing to go on commentary. Um, the, the match, you know, wasn't bad. Uh, Ray and Dominic got the win. Dominic getting a frog splash on Bobby Roode. Ziggler uh, ended up super kicking Dominic, you know, um, getting uh, Ray to chase him. Miz took out Ray, hit him with a skull crushing finale, and then took Ray Mysterio's mask from him and held it up as Dominic got to get, you know, his, get Ray a towel to put over his head, uh, which got some good heat out there taking Ray Mysterio's mask as Miz held it up. So uh, we'll see what goes on with that. Seth Rollins, you know, still trying to get a WrestleMania spot. Um, telling the GMs, you know, Pierce and DeVille in the back. Saying, um, I want a spot. I want something at WrestleMania. He's still going on about that. And I guess he's going to figure it out later on tonight. Miz in the back, you know, Ray's mask. You know, invite Logan Paul next week. And he's going to dare him to put Rey Mysterio's mask on. This was, you know, how you humiliate them is by taking his mask. So they did that. Um, almost went against Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz in a handicap match. Almost basically killed these guys. This was just a showcase for him. Don't know how much the crowd cared about that. But then almost got in the microphone after, um, just saying he's undefeated. He's unstoppable. 
And um, at WrestleMania, they will be dominated. I have no idea where they are going to go with um, Amos or whoever he will be facing at WrestleMania. I know they killed Aziz last week, the other big guy in this company, but now we killed him and Cruz. It is crazy to see what happened to Apollo Cruz's push and how down that has gone at this point. So, Amos don't know where this is going to go for him. AJ Styles came out for a promo. We haven't seen AJ Styles since Edge took him out. But AJ says, you know, I've been at home and, you know, he didn't really want to spend any time with wife and kids. He just wanted to stay on his own. He was looking for the answers. He just wanted Edge at WrestleMania. He says, you got the pit bull now. So, you know, we don't got to wait till WrestleMania. Seth Rollins was out there again. Uh, one of the Cody, you know, for a match. I meant to say he was out there during the Ray and Dominic match. And um, guys, microphone muted. But um, Seth was back out there. There were more Cody chants. Rollins. Um, you know, settle down, you know, rumors are fun, but uh, they don't make moments, and I want my WrestleMania moment, and listen, man, you sure you can fight at WrestleMania, man, you need to go home, spend some time with your kids, be 100%, and you can come back after WrestleMania, I need to, I can take out Edge, because I need to finish what I did at Hell in a Cell, he said, but um, Styles said, you know, I'm facing him, as long as I'm able to walk, okay, but, uh, oh, as long as you're not able to walk, Rollins says. Uh, Styles says, I, I know what you try to do. You try to do these, the same thing with Kevin Owens, okay? You want us, want us to fight, and so one of us can get that WrestleMania spot. But Styles says, I'm not doing that, okay? And, um, you know, when I'm done taking out Edge, we'll get back to this, all right? But for some reason, Adam Pearce signing the bill came out now saying Rollins has one more chance, which... Now they give him a chance all of a sudden and just, you know, okay, if you beat AJ, you can have that spot at WrestleMania, which AJ was like, what the hell was that? Which he ended up punching Rollins to the ground in as Rollins started laughing, which I even agreed what he said about um, them in the back. Um, uh, you know, AJ told him to pierce him that they suck, that you guys are idiots, don't know what you're doing. You know, I don't hear good things about any of y'all, but he's going to take out Rollins tonight, so... Kind of dumb for this match to happen for uh, Pierce. Just, you know, okay, you get a shot. You got a chance, so we're going to give it to you just because. It's kind of strange. Um, Carmelo was in the back. Zena Vega ended up, you know, accusing her for not focusing on these tag titles, especially with this Fatal 4-Way coming up at WrestleMania. But, um, you know, Zelina threw her phone, and then Carmelo slapped her. Called her a hobbit, by the way. I thought that was hilarious. She called... She called... Um, Zena Vega Hobbit. That was funny. And then they just brawled to the ground to like referees and security start breaking them up. Uh, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley winning against Shayna Baszler and Natalya. Um, I don't have much to say about this match. I know Carmella came out there once again talking to Graves. Baszler ended up beating Liv Morgan. Um, Vega ended up taking out um, Ripley with her scepter. Carmella taking out Natalya and Bla uh, Baszler then. As uh, Carmella and Zena had a stare down in after that, which you saw some people chant fight, but they ended up having a fix in and they hugged and, you know, they, they're still a team. So no breakup, even though they teased the breakup. Uh, no, they're still on, I guess, on the same side and holding those tag titles. So we'll see what happens at WrestleMania then after that. Um, Becky Lynch came out then. Talked about what she did to Bianca Belair. And she talked about how, you know, um, you know, it was a lot to gain, she says, you know, <clears throat> and stuff. And, you know, she was forced to give up her title, you know, most of her doing the pregnant stuff. But, you know, it's antagonized. You know, you're gone for 15 months and, you know, you finally get, you know, your precious back. She never lost the title. And, you know, she is the power, glory, the prize. She's at the top of the mountain. But these fans, they wanted to choose Bianca over her. And uh, she says she sell her soul to keep this championship, okay? And she didn't mean to injure, um, you know, Belair didn't mean to, you know, injure her, you know, with the whole hair whipping thing and stuff. But... Becky meant to take out Bianca. She says, you know, an eye for an eye is a throat for a throat. Because, you know, Bianca has this throat injury, it looks like. So, Becky said, you know, gotta, you know, take care and whatever. And, um, you know, we know you're in the building. Uh, Becky said, you know, you know, Bianca doesn't want to lose her uh, soul. You know, you probably would sell it again and stuff. Uh, basically, you know, we'll see what happens at WrestleMania. She'll show everyone that, uh, you know, what Bel Air will be at uh, WrestleMania. Becky went on. So, not a... Bad promo from Becky. She looks like Lady Gaga out there for some reason, but not a bad promo. Austin Theory um, was in the back, I guess, talking about Vince once again. Basically, talking about his match coming up at WrestleMania. And now he's going to take out Finn Balor tonight, which it was Balor 
versus Austin Theory, but the guest commentator will be Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee was on commentary, which I gotta say, uh, Theory getting a lot over the uh, U.S. champion out there, but obviously it's just to push the Pat and um, Theory match. With Pat did get involved several times, which you distract them, so Balor could get the um, you know, inside cradle for the win, but the U.S. champion need that much help to be Austin Theory of all people at the same time, so that kind of tells you something. Uh, RK Bro, who were super over, uh, of course, uh, came out to go against Alpha Academy. Alpha Academy talked about how it's unfair at WrestleMania and at the, you know, this whole triple threat tag title match. But they would get the tag titles back as he said, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. Which we did get RK Bro versus um, Alpha Academy. RK Bro won. The Bro Derek, like I said, Orton, you know, super over with the RKO, of course, but, um, Right after Otis and um, <coughs> Otis and uh, Gable start taking out RK Bro to the Street Profits came out. Uh, basically helped RK Bro. They had helped Riddle. I, I like this new uh, move they did. Like um, what Dawkins held. I think he held Gable up and then um, Ford did like a standing DDT. So I, I thought it was like a cool tag team finish when you look at it. But um. The Street Profits, you know, they helped Riddle up then, and then took him out with Spine Buster, and, um, you know, it's kind of crazy, because <laughs> I forget Montez Ford is from Chicago, like, I forget that sometime, but, yeah, and, and by the way, they look like basketball players out there, you could have added them to the Bulls team damn near with the gear they were wearing, but, like I said, Ford is from Chicago and stuff, but, you know, Ford ended up, uh, went up to the top rope, did the frog splash, I believe I can fly, and I definitely believe I can touch the sky, so, uh, shit, he did fly up there. But yeah, Montez Ford, <coughs> Montez Ford did do the uh, frog splash and point at the WrestleMania side. I think the crowd was very indifferent on the uh, street props. They didn't know whether to cheer or boo them. Um, kind of wondering whose side are they on and whatnot, or what the crowd side was on. And what, they did some 24-7 stuff, which it was uh, Dana Brooke and Reginald versus Tozawa and Tamina. Nobody cared in this tor No, Nobody cared about this tornado tag match. Nobody cared about any of these people. Nobody cared about this 24-7 title. They did some ball spot, and it was over, and nobody cared, okay? It's done. Leave it alone. Move on to the next thing. Veer! Veer! Oh, boy, I don't believe it's Veer! He finally has a date on when he will finally debut, folks. He will debut the night after WrestleMania. So, he's been coming for months, folks, but now he is finally going to debut. So, Veer, folks, April 4th, mark your calendars. He's finally here. Veer will finally arrive, folks. Veer, the man that everybody's talking about. So, whoo, that, that's going to be a fun one. Veer, they finally got a date for this motherfucker. That tells you something. AJ Styles went against Seth Rollins in the main event. Very good match. Very enjoyable. Crowd loved it. Um, <clears throat> AJ was set up with a phenomenal forearm, but Edge ended up taking out um, AJ from behind with a steel chair. Seth Rollins was surprised. He was upset. And then next thing you know, he said that uh, he basically went to the broadcast table. Uh, fans started to chant Cody once again. Um... Rollins got on top of the table, and he said, this is bullshit, and he said, bullshit, them and several times with the seven-second delay, it was not working for some reason right now, but he said, Raw will not ha happen next week until he gets his WrestleMania moment, and then he kept saying, bullshit, bullshit, and he used to start throwing the announce table, taking parts of the ring off, just destroying stuff, and destroying stuff, and destroying stuff, funny how they tried to censor bullshit in the end of the show, but... Uh, he just starts destroying everything. So the Cody watch continues, folks. Will Cody be here by next week or before WrestleMania? That's what I'm going to assume. But uh, yes, the Cody chance, the Cody chance, Cody, 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 Cody. Um, it's happening a any day now. I give it till next week or two. So WrestleMania is getting closer as it is. So we will see. We'll see what happens then when we get there. All right, but. I give it till either next week or the go home show before WrestleMania that Cody Rhodes will show up on Monday Night Raw to challenge Seth Rollins. So we'll see about that and see what happens. But Chi Town, always a hot crowd and whatnot. Uh, most of the night they were. 
There were times where they were dead, which rightfully so. They were like the 24-7 stuff, but Chicago is usually a hot crowd. So, honestly, I didn't know they were even going to be here tonight. I really didn't know. Uh, but they're always a fun, we're always a fun crowd, okay? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. But other than that, I'm out of here. Comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Hood Night 890. I will see you guys then. Um, see you tomorrow night for NXT. I'm out. Peace.